Okay, so uh, so in the earlier video, basically we saw uh, that uh, what is the difference between the major cadences. Uh, in this video, we're going to see how to actually create a cadence uh, and how to uh, sort of sort of add contacts to it, how to manage the email IDs uh, and see the report. So this video is basically purely based on only creating new cadences. Uh, to create a new cadence, uh, I will go to uh, cadence and manage. Uh, this is where I am right now. And I will go to create cadence. Uh, when you create a cadence, you can give it uh, any name here. Uh, you can select white days here. Uh, so what are white days basically is white days are days on which you want to run your cadence. For example, you have five phases in your uh, cadence created. Uh, first phase goes, let's say, immediately as soon as the contacts are added, added to the uh, cadence. Uh, second phase goes three days later let's say third phase goes five days later and so on and so forth. Now, uh, if a first guy is added on Monday, uh, he will get his second email, let's say three days later, which is on Thursday. Uh, but his uh, sec third email, which is five days later, which will go to him after five working days. So or five white days, which is basically Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. So it will count five white days gap in between. Uh, so that you don't send out an email on Saturday, Sunday or a day where, you know, probably there's a holiday or something. So you can you can avoid all of those and create five work white working days uh, break in into uh, in two cadences. So it's extremely easy. Just select the days uh, on which you would like uh, your customer to receive this email. Uh, you can set up, a, set up a starting date and a starting time on a daily basis. The starting time basically is used every single day to figure out uh, at what time your emailing should start. So if you have added 100 emails or 100 contacts into the cadence, that cadence will start receiving uh, emails uh, depending upon your starting time here. So if my starting time is, let's say, uh, 11 a.m., then my cadence will start receiving, uh, my contacts will start receiving my cadence uh, after 11 a.m. only. So here I can say this, it needs to be start from, let's say, tomorrow, and I click on next. Now, uh, this process is slightly changed from our previous uh, sequence creation. Now, here, if you see, I can actually create a sequence without even adding a single contact into it. This is very, very important. Why we are doing this is because cadence is not independent of contacts. A cadence is, is a process which you've already designed and contacts you can just keep on adding into it. So right now, as you can see, I have an active cadence here, which is on or I can turn on and off from here directly. Uh, but I have an active cadence here, which has no contacts or no emails already in this. I can go to contacts, emails and reports also, but that will cover in the next video. Now I want to start creating a cadence here. So what will I do? So I'll click on add email phase. Now here I will see uh, whenever I add this, my first email phase. So whenever I will add my first contact, uh, after how many uh, days or minutes I want, uh, he, I want him to receive my first email. So I am saying, OK, after adding my first uh, contact in three hours time, he should receive my first email. Now, you can even set it immediately. Uh, but the recommendation typically is that if you let's say add a contact by mistake, uh, you should have some time to go back there and remove those contacts from uh, the cadence. So here you can keep some time so that, uh, you know, contacts which are added by mistake, you will have some time to go there and uh, remove them from the cadence if you want to do that. Now in this phase uh, here, I can actually go and design my entire uh, cadence here. Uh, as you can see, this is my entire uh, designer box, which has come in here. I can use my, uh, uh, you, you know, trip campaigns. I can use my uh, trial emails, whatever can templates that I've set up. So I can use all of these directly here. Uh, whatever you want to type here, you can type there and you can click on save. Now, once I have clicked on save, this is basically how my cadence is going to look like. If you see, this email is going to be going to be sent three hours after my first contact is added into the system. Also, uh, this is my name of the email, and this email is by default deactivated right now when you create it. So I have to go and manually activate this. Okay. Now, as soon as I activate it, after this, if I add any contact into the cadence, he'll start receiving his first email in three hours time. Uh, I can also do my test email preview or go back to compose all of it, which is exactly the same as what it was before. 
so i can go ahead and check my test email uh, how you know i can send it to either me or anybody else directly or i can even see a preview of my email directly coming into the system here so this is about basically how to create a cadence now we will see how to actually add a contact into a cadence so it is basically extremely simple uh, all you have to do is search the contacts wherever you want as you can search them either on my contacts or in uh, you know search contacts or even inside the companies wherever you find the contacts here select the contacts that you want and directly add them into a cadence so i am selecting here a cadence so this is the cadence that we just created i am selecting them as add and i am adding them now if you see uh, 25 cadences are uh, 25 contacts are already added into the system and now these 25 contacts will automatically start receiving my cadence in 3 hours time from now it is as simple as that there is there, there is it's extremely easy to uh, add contacts into the cadence there is no need to create multiple cadences constantly create just one cadence for your one offering for example if you have three kinds of offering where you're doing let's say uh, uh doing data science machine learning as a service or you're selling uh sap implementation as a service or you're selling iot as a service you create three cadences for three offerings and just keep on identifying contacts which match those cadences and keep on pushing those can uh, contacts into the cadence and and they'll all go through the same life cycle uh every single day so that's basically about how you can create a cadence and how you can uh, add contacts into the cadence uh, in the next video, we will see how to basically manage the cadence, uh, how to manage the contacts, how to manage their emails, and uh, how to see their reports. Uh, so thank you so much for watching.